I born in Hong Kong in 1965. Uh, I lived in Kowloon side, okay, Hong Kong and Kowloon, you know, everybody should know that. And the place I live in Hong Kong, they call it Temple Street. With, you've been Hong Kong before, you should know where's Temple Street. The Temple Street is like, it's like a night fee market. Every night is like, they have all kind of stuff you can, you know, eat, uh, all kind of thing you can buy. Uh, they have an entertainment, okay? That's what you see from outside. But Temple Street, I tell you honestly, is controlled by the triad. And that's the place I go up at. Okay, so um, when I left the say, fourth grade, okay, and I was studying in a Catholic school, Catholic school, but I cannot catch up, like, so I got dropped out and to a, another school. And that one, then that school, uh, the fifth, fifth grade I, I went to, okay, that school is like whole full of uh, try as member, the son and daughter, they study at, okay, and that's the school I study at too, okay. Elder, because they have a lot of pastor too, that's okay. three. Sometimes they, the pastor too got customer, they went upstairs and tell me to, you know, watch the cop come by, see any cop downstairs and they pay me. Um, you do that, try yeah, it. yeah, okay. yeah, for the pastor too. Okay, at that time only like 10, 11. Mm -hmm. But I know who's the, who's the police, okay, of course, okay. So when I see the police, well, I will, you know, call out and, you know, tell them, oh, the police are coming, right? Mm -hmm. And then they do, and they pay me like $5, $10 sometimes, $10, the most is $10, okay. Mm -hmm. Only that, that's it, but with, like, okay, if I eating on the Temple Street, all the stand over there, like the like the food stand, like uh, like United States, you know, this, the food truck, okay, I can eat whatever I want, I don't have to pay. I yeah. know, like, at that time, okay, right. police and, and triad together. What year? Go. Like, 70, 70 to let's say like a mid 80. Okay, they just like together. Okay, anything happen, the police will, you know, call the leader of the triad and then, you know, tell him to give up one or two kit. That's it, case, case closed. Okay, that's it. With, okay, let's say like if you want to make money. You must be a famous guy, okay? If you keep in low profile, nobody know you, nobody gonna pay you, okay? The owner of the of the nightclub or the karaoke or the, because they have a lot of saw for, you know, for the income, okay? Nightclub, karaoke, parking lot, uh, Friday parking, you know, for all the restaurant, Friday parking, all the restaurant. Uh, the, they have a, what you call it, a uh, subsidy of the small bus. The minibus. Minibus, yeah. They have a, a bus only, you can sit like 14 people, okay. They control all kind of this kind of business. Even the taxi business? Taxi, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so. And that's the store where they get the income from. Multiple sources of income. Yeah, but even though you just join the triad, you're the one of the member, and they don't know you, they don't pay you. Right. Until you get famous, everybody know you, and then they, they, you don't have to go for them. They will call you. Okay. So, uh, my father's sister, my aunt. Okay. She's already in the United States. And she already filed the application for my father's family to come to the United States. Like, I think like 
couple years before. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm too young. Okay. So uh, after my father get approved to come to the United States, at that time I was 12. And at first, my father still thinking like he want to come to the United States or not, or stay in Hong Kong. But I have uh, I'll tell you, uh, I have an uh, oldest brother and an older sister. I'm the youngest one, and I'm the bad one. I always jump school, okay, and I always hang out with the bad people in the Temple Street, and my father do it. So my father decide, you know, let's move, okay, and don't let me stay over there. So I was here in 1978, okay. Uh, at that time, I was 12. That's the first day I was in the United States, okay. Okay, when I was here, my family, when my family arrived in the United States, my father worked in the restaurant. My mother worked in the factory, a sewing factory. And for the half, uh, first six months, we don't have to go to school yet because the, uh, the school is not start yet. Uh, uh, we have to wait for the beginning of the term, okay, seventh grade. Uh, so we have six months for the, you know, for the waiting time. So uh, for that six months, I was like uh, helping my father in the restaurant and helping my mother in the factory every day like this, long stop, no, no off day, nothing, okay. Just keep working, working, working. And until September, the school start. Okay, and they registered, they were already registered for the school. And so I went to a school they call Junior High School 65. That's the first school I went to in the United States. Okay. And my whole family, I can say that they all honest people, except me. I'm the baddest. Okay. My father, after the, after the restaurant job, he was at, uh, in the factory with my mother. Fight almost like until they had they got retired. Okay, worked in the factory almost the whole life. Okay, my brother studied in Stony Brook. He graduated in Stony Brook, and my sister, uh, she didn't graduate, but she got a couple years degree from college degree, and so she got a decent job right now. My father got a decent job right now, and I'm in the baddest. I got, I dropped out school since ninth grade. Okay, so I only went to school like seventh grade and eighth grade. That's it. Always, <laughs> yeah. They always, you know, they always don't let me go out and uh, try to keep me at home and after school tell me to go to the factory work just like every day is work, working, school working, school working that's it nothing in the training at that time okay and uh, my class okay my class is like full of like new uh, immigrant okay so everybody don't speak English uh, they call it uh, bilingual, bilingual class, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah bi bilingual class. So we, like, my class is like twenty something people. So like, uh, after this is junior high school. Junior high school, oh, yeah. yeah, junior high school. So like, uh, we all fresh immigrant, so we stick together in school. And at that time, it's like a lot of Spanish people, you know, African people, um, and uh, I don't know why they don't like Chinese, <laughs> okay? And they saw you new immigrant, and they, they walk you in the school hallway, they always, you know, kick your ass, okay, uh, grab your, grab your book, uh, grab your book, um, and uh, say bad work to you, okay, curse at you. And for me, I cannot, you know, stand that. Okay, you curse at me, I curse at you too. So we, so I always get into the fight, always. Okay, and the teacher 
always be telling my father, uh, you know, always tell my father, oh, your son is always getting into trouble, blah, 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 whatever. And the teacher already, already don't like me because me and a couple of my friends in, in, in the class is troublemaker. Always trouble, okay? So we are thinking that, like, you don't like me, so I don't go to your class. Okay, I just cut class, cut your class, you know, every day. <laughs> um, uh, afterward, and we joined a, a soccer group, okay, playing soccer. Um, so we have like more classmates to join in, and all the boys to join in, and then, and then uh, we just keep playing soccer, and my father don't like it. My father don't let me go out, you know. He don't want me to go out, he don't want me to join any, any this kind of thing, but he's, he's not against the group, okay? He's like regular uh, society, right? So like, uh, I get argument with my father all the time. So one day, and my father saying that like, uh, you only want to play soccer and you don't go to school, and you cannot come back home, okay? You cannot stay here. So I just left. I just grabbed my coat, that's it. I left, I didn't go back anymore. At that time, I was only like 13. 13, yeah. And that was the last time? Yeah, wow. so I didn't go back anymore. I live in Tongon Association. Because so one of my... Where, where was your family living at the time? Uh, Chinatown. In Manhattan? Yeah, okay. Manhattan, okay. And uh, the association is the, in the same location, same area. Mm. It's only a couple bar away. Okay. Why I go up there? Because one of my classmates, he's uh, the president of Tonga Association cousin. Okay, it's real close. So uh, when we like every time that we practice soccer. Afterward, we always go up there and uh, we have having dinner downstairs on the street restaurant and uh, his cousin, my, my classmate cousin, always tells someone to come down and take care of us. We don't have to pay for the restaurant. But at that time, we, we are not against it. Okay, we just had no kid. A whole bunch of people had no kid. We don't do bad things. We don't, we don't rob people. We don't steal stuff. Okay, and we just play soccer. But because maybe, because we always go down to the uh, cemetery, their cemetery, okay? So the other group people think we are the same group, okay? We are the new member of this group, okay? So we've been like, after a while, I think it's like a couple of months, one of my friend, one of my best friend, uh, which is my classmate too, he got killed for no reason because he is what and and other goose territory, okay. And he got shot in the head, and the body just dumped into the fashion mill park, okay. And after he got killed, and now how old is he? 13, 14, wow. the most, yeah. After he got killed, and all my same class people, my classmate, like we want to get a revenge. Okay, so we ask the president of the Tonga Association. We want to, we tell him that we want to get a revenge. So he already tell us that you sure you want to come up for you know for doing this kind of thing. Okay, he already tell us that like if you step your your you step in this kind of go, a two thing go to happen, okay? Either you go to jail, either you got killed. That's the first thing he, he told us, okay? And he was like, make sure you make up your mind, you want to come up. So we say, fuck that, we come up. We want to take the revenge. If we so, don't- um, what, what year is this right now? 79, let me see, 80. That's good. Yeah, before I'm not a member. Yeah. But after this, so the president 
bought us at that time, only four people, you know, only four people become an original member, me and the three other guys, okay? Now the three other guys are here anymore. Um, the president bought us to an apartment and uh, they have a, a Chinese statue on, okay, and do some, uh, what you want to call it, uh, do some, what you want to call it, um, Ceremony. Ceremony, right? Or That's a ceremony? Or right? ritual. Ritual. Ritual, yeah, it's a ritual, okay. So after after finish the ritual and uh, he give us a lumber, so we become a original member of the Tongwon. Mm. Okay. The president of the Tongwon Association, uh, the guy who I mentioned about is Chris Wong. At that time, he's the vice president. He's not a president yet, okay? But he's the leader of the gang, I can say that, okay? So he brought us to this apartment and do the ceremony uh, ritual, do the ritual. And after that, uh, now we have lumber and we become a gang member. Okay. We have to, no, we have to use a needle to stick to our finger and get our blood you know, a draft of blood out into a not water, 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 yeah, into a water. So we have four people, four people, you know, stick the finger and then put the blood in the water and we have to drink a sip. Everybody drink a sip, okay. After drink it, and then I, uh, the statue, around the statue they have a lot of stuff. Uh, they have a, but all the stuff is made with paper, okay. It's a, uh, I don't know how to say it. Um, uh, do you see this Chinese funeral before? For Chinese people? They yes. have they have burned some, yeah. something like a house, airplane, those kind of stuff. It's almost like that kind of thing. Okay, they have like, uh, like a bridge, they have like a, a house, okay, they have like all kind of stuff. So he was telling us to, you know, walk around the bridge, cross the bridge, and uh, uh, tell us to repeat whatever he's saying. That's a pawn for for this thing. And after this, we have to go over here, go across this circle, and tell us to set to the same thing, repeat whatever he's saying. And that's another pawn for this. And uh, after we finish all this, all, all this kind of thing, he will, he will uh, grab a light, a, a kitchen light, okay, a big one, not a small one, okay, and I put on our bed and ask us, uh, you want money or you want uh, brother? Brother mean the good brother, okay? So we say brother, and then he use the side of the light to, you know, to touch us like this, okay, once like this, and then you be the original member. So everybody do the same thing. And uh, the ritual is like, going on is like one hour, finish it. From beginning to finish, it's like one hour, okay? And a lot of porn you have to repeat, and afterward you have to remember, he will ask you any time he want, you have to remember this rule, and uh, tell us like, we have 36 rule, you cannot, you, you, you cannot, do it, and uh, we have a uh, uh, ten commandment. You have to listen, whatever. A lot of those kind of things. But for my century, like for my time, yeah. But now nobody care. Okay. Uh, how do you find people who know this kind of stuff now? Okay. Um, so now, would you say that that ritual is based on like triads, or is it? It's from the. The, rit the ritual is from the original trial, from the maybe two, 200 years before uh, China, you know, when they first creating this in China and the first group of the people, they, you know, they make up this kind of thing and then whatever who follow, follow the, 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 the thing and you be become a trial. So they just, you know, keep going and going, but until after, I think after 19, 
before 2000, already nobody knew this. Okay, and uh, this become a history. You can say that this become history. Maybe 10 years after, but nobody knew. It. Okay, and nobody believed this thing will happen. Okay, only only in the movie. Yeah.